Anita here and this is day 29 of the 30 day sketchbook challenge. So for today I was actually inspired by the new upcoming um, Beauty and the Beast movie. And I decided to just draw Belle. Just, I wanted to draw a character. Originally this was made with um, those freehand roses I like to paint so much <laughs> in mind. But in the end I have just let leave, left them out and concentrated more on the character. And I have to say I had a lot of fun drawing her, uh, I mean painting her, be especially because of the hair. It was just a lot of fun. Um, so I started with this very basic sketch, just her face and in front of the face a rose. Um, I didn't really play too much with the rose, um, just left it, you know, just a basic shape. It kind of looks more like a lettuce. If it wasn't red, it would look like a lettuce to me. But it's fine for a sketch. We're fine. Actually, I have a lot. I had a lot of problems with the hand because uh, there was supposed to be a hand holding the rose in front of her face, uh, just her own hand. Um, but I just couldn't. I was fiddling with it. I couldn't get it right. I really suck at drawing hands. Uh, I never liked it. This is one of those things that even if I study it, I mean, I studied. I tried to get better at drawing hands. I just, I don't enjoy it, and because of that, it's just, whatever I do, it sucks. So, um, when I'm doing a piece for someone else, you know, that's a different topic, and I have more time to kind of get a proper reference. I really pretty much draw from reference, because I don't understand how hand is built. I don't. I can look at the picture, I can try drawing it, I just don't understand, it just does not does not doesn't want to you know get into my head for some reason so i just most of the time draw whatever i see and i fiddle as as long as needed for it to look proper but since in this case it was a just a sketch i will i just gave, gave <laughs> sorry i just uh gave up and i was like okay you know, you know what never mind that it's just a sketch and I concentrate on the things I like the most, like hair and eyes and just face, uh, pretty much everything else, except the hands. Uh, and one of the reasons why I don't really like drawing hands is because I don't see anything attractive about hands. I never did. Um, and that's one of, I don't, like, some people really like drawing hands or the, love the way the hands look so soft or they help with the expressions. I never had that. I never really looked at hands like this, so that's probably one of the reasons why I'm not really tempted to, you know, learn more. <laughs> Maybe someday. So here I'm um, using actually different color than normally for the skin, and it's this color called Tea Rose, something like that. Just like a pinkish, orangish um, color. <laughs> just a shade and it's a little bit too dark than I wanted it to but I really didn't have anything else uh, and I figured because her hair is dark uh, Belle has this dark brown hair oh, it would be fine I also wanted to include darker backgrounds uh, still in mind with the roses but I left that idea as I said so the dark background just complements it really nicely and then I'm using um, this really nice brown color as a base and originally I wanted to just use it in the lighter parts of the hair, but I just ended up putting it everywhere. Um, this is the way I've learned how to paint with watercolor that I I put the colors, like flat colors in first. And leaving spaces for shadows or for um, highlights, it's just, it's just not my style. It doesn't work for me because I like how the colors blend together when you layer them. And I've noticed the same thing with Copics, that even if I put a shade that's just a little bit different uh, because of that layer underneath, um, the color underneath. Everything blends together. It doesn't matter how it, you know, how it looks like. Now, there is a one problem with that. Um, especially lighter colors have that tendency to push the ink away. So if I put, for example, here I was using uh, just this like violet color on top of that flesh color. Let's call it like this. Just, uh, just the, the skin color. I was using this very, very light, uh, pale lilac. 
and that color pushed away <laughs> the skin color so you could actually see there was a line now i kind of camouflaged it in the end with the same uh, skin color but I didn't want that. I didn't want to add another layer on top of that. I wanted that purple to be visible. But that's, a, that's how this medium works, you know. Um, if I was smarter, I would probably do it differently. But in the end, I'm really, really happy with the, with the way it looks. And this is also a different color that I wanted to use in the beginning. Um, the darker brown. I wanted to use even darker brown on top of that. But I just, I really like that, that even tone. Everything is the same tone. I don't know, I just really liked it. And here I'm actually doing something that I never do like this. Um, I'm adding completely different dark shade on her, top of her cheeks and I just left it there. I left it there and I didn't really do much with it so that there is like this line now next to the nose. It actually shows that she has a nose somewhere a little bit. I did not plan on that. Uh, normally I would put the cheeks in with just uh, the same color or just uh, just a little bit. Normally I don't really do these kind of big faces with that much Copic coloring. So this was actually really new for me, this kind of way of putting the blush. But I really like the effect. Um, it fits her perfectly. She has this really, like, the rosy cheeks, you know what I mean? Like the, the saying that someone has rosy cheeks. I love that. I really love it. It really fits with this whole, you know, bell and the rose. <laughs> and um, I left her ha hairstyle a little bit different from the original bell, just just because. <laughs> and here I'm using um, just a top, like a lid from my candle, <laughs> because I wanted to have a nice even circle behind her, um, because I wanted to use one of the Copics for the background. I was afraid I would just go a little bit overboard, didn't want to waste the ink. And I'm using this really dark uh, red, it's called Cardinal, I think. And um, all the colors are usually in the description, so <laughs> you can just check there if you want to. And the reason for um, why I decided on this color, not only because it was red, nicely fitting, but also because I have two of those. Uh, and I've never used this particular color before, so I knew it would be nice and juicy and I wouldn't be you know, wasting colors that I use more often. As for the rose, I really wish that I didn't put such a dark color as the base of the rose. I feel like it would have a little bit more of like a glowing effect and would stand out more if I added a little bit lighter tone and build the gradient a bit more, but I didn't have any color that would actually fit in that uh, red tone that I wanted to achieve. So that's why I'm coming back on top with one of the new Dervent uh, graphic um, pens, the liners that I've received, um, because it has that milky quality <laughs> that's really nice for, for layering on top of other colors. And as a last um, little detail, I'm adding some lace around the circle just because I wanted something extra. And that's pretty much it, guys. Um, if, as a last touch, like after I stop recording, I've added um, on top of the red liner that I've used in the beginning, I've added some blue. But that's pretty much it. There's nothing <laughs> more than that. Just wanted a bit different tone. So yeah, tomorrow is the last day. I hope to have something nice for you guys. I will see you tomorrow. Bye!